What's going on you guys? It's Logan here with Logan's Lessons back at it with yet another guitar tutorial for you. Today we're going to be learning the song Backfoot by Dinosaur Pileup. This song has such a cool guitar riff and it's just an overall vibe. I'm so excited to teach it to you so we're just gonna get right into it. You're watching. Logan's Lessons. The first thing I need to mention is that our guitar needs to be in E-flat tuning. That means you need to tune each string down a half step. So starting on the string closest to your face, the names of the strings are as follows. D-sharp, G-sharp, C-sharp, F-sharp, A-sharp, and D-sharp. Go get yourself a snark or some kind of tuner and tune that sucker up. The main riff of this song plays for 90% of the song, except for the bridge, the breakdown, and the outro has a couple chords. Let's get that main riff. We are gonna start on the seventh fret of our A string, the second string from our face. Following that, we're going to go to the open E string to the third fret of E string. It'll sound like this. If I play that slowly. Faster now. One last time. Right after that, we play the third fret of our E string again, then hit the open E string, and back to the third fret. So far we have... I will play it slowly. Play along with me. Faster now. One last time. So right after that, we do a walk up to our fourth and then our fifth fret. So we have that three, zero, three, then four, five. It should sound like this. I will do that slowly. Faster now. One last time. Okay, so the last note we played was on that fifth fret. You're going to now play that fifth fret once again, then we do the walk up from three, four, five on the E string. Then right after that, you do five, six, seven on your A. So right after that fifth fret, it'll sound like this. I'll do that slowly. So the whole riff in its entirety will sound like this. I will play that slowly. Play it with me faster now. Sweet, now you've nailed the main riff of the song. This is the primary piece as it is played through all of the verses and all of the choruses. Now let's talk about the bridge. This is the now that you know me section. We're going to be putting our first finger on the third fret of our A string. Our third finger is going to be on the fifth fret of our D string. And our pinky is going to be on the fifth fret of our G string, right under our third finger. You're gonna let your B string and your high E strings ring out. Then you're going to arpeggiate it like this. You're gonna go from the A string to the G string, to the high E string, back to your G string. You're gonna play that twice for each chord. Then you're going to slide this chord down so that your third finger and your pinky finger are on the second fret of your D and G strings. going to take your first finger off by the way. Then we get back into the main riff which we play twice before going back into the chords. Those chords get us into the breakdown of the song. Before we get into the breakdown let me just play you the bridge. <laughs> Now let's talk about the breakdown of this song. We're gonna start by doing an E minor chord. In the context of the song, it makes the most sense to play it by barring the second fret of your A and D strings and letting your low E string ring out. First, we are going to strum downwards twice, followed by three strums. So you let the first two strikes of this ring out. Then of the three strums, the first two I palm mute. 
the third one I let ring out. Palm muting will lend itself to a little bit more dynamic range. Another thing I'm doing in between the two strokes and the three, I'm muting in my left hand as well. This will make sure that none of the strings are ringing out in between the different parts of the riff, creating just a punchier performance. So right after that, you just hit your open E string and get your fingers ready for an F power chord. This will be accomplished by putting your first finger on the first fret of your E string and either your ring finger or your pinky finger on the third fret of your A string. So you do that open E to the F power chord, then back to your open E. Then you move this power chord shape to the second fret and finally the third fret. I should mention that the second fret slides up into the third fret. So we have if I play that slowly. So in context of the whole riff, we have and that repeats a few times and we're back into the main riff. The last thing that we need to talk about is the outro of the song, if you want to call it that. It's just the last four chords of the song that each get a strumming piece. It's the So we're going to start with that E minor chord we talked about. Then we're going to do the power chord shape on our 5th fret, and we're going to descend down to the 4th and to the 3rd. So we have... And that's it my friends, I hope this guitar tutorial has been super helpful for you, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. You're watching Logan's Lessons.